Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Well, this month or whatever. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while since I have made uh since I made my last video, but hey, it's all good. I've had my uh things going on and uh, I, I really hope you guys have been doing well. And I want to also thank those of you who have stuck around, remained subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos. It's just that there are some things happening that just really aren't allowing me to uh, to do this, guys. Um, and plus, I mean, you've been in good hands. And pl also, what has happened, really? It is just now that XRP has really done anything. It's... Uh, it, it, you know, what do we have moving up to 25 cents? Uh, and subsequently, it has come back down a little bit. Let's do a little restart here. Uh, hold on, let me, let me see. Let me see. And also, I've, I'm hearing that XRP is supposed to hit all these crazy amounts. Uh, look, uh, I'm just going to say this. Don't, don't get all, uh, nobody get all. Uh, or rather just too excited about this we don't know what's going to happen this could be you know just a, a fake out or, or whatever who knows um i i mean yeah we had some good news happen with the banks being able to um hold crypto and hold keys and all this good stuff but all in all we just have to sit be patient and watch um if you've already gotten your stacks up hey that's that's an excellent thing uh, i know i have just been sitting on mine so i know you guys have too i see in twitter that his things have really kind of um picked up a bit but like i said don't don't get too ahead of we can't get too ahead of ourselves okay um so one thing that really kind of troubled me i guess is this particular situation right here uh, most of us have ledgers um you know i, I think i mentioned a, a while ago a few months ago i had a situation where and and just be careful about this if you see some weird notification just you know as a heads up um what i saw was a notification on my phone saying something about some um uh network uh or i needed to connect to something i can't remember exactly what it said but when i clicked on it immediately i started getting all of these uh um notifications that my account passwords were being changed so apparently that was some type of trojan horse i i, I don't know whatever was going on it freaked me out completely so I had to go through, uh, make sure everything was good. Nothing was taken that I could I, that I could see. Um, I went in. I, I just changed things around. I changed the the uh, email address on uh, pretty much all my accounts. But to be honest with you, I don't use any of that stuff really anymore. I don't. I, I don't. You know the the um, exchanges that were involved and you know all that. I, I just I don't even use it anymore. To be honest with you. So there's really nothing out there to steal, you know, nothing significant by any means. But either way, just just be careful, guys. Now that we especially we have this right here, uh, just be very careful about connecting uh, your your um, ledger and, and all of that. Just just be smart about it. What you might want to do, to be honest with you, is. Um, you may want when you get ready to connect your ledger just do a uh, uh or rather disconnect your network cable and before you know that that takes you out to the internet and then connect it just make sure that you're good to go i know this is just a you know kind of a delay and uh if, if something is going on it could just be a small delay and it, may, it might be what you need okay uh but either way there's always a possibility that you could lose something. Now, they did say here they have not uh, seen anything 
where the information is being sold online or, or, or offered online or anything like that. They've reported all this. You know, I mean, really all this other stuff doesn't make any uh, difference at all. Um, it's just like somebody hacking someone's wallet. They have the, the, the funds um, and whether it's Binance or whomever, uh, whatever exchange out there, they, they'll know what account the funds are in. It's not like they can go, you know, run out and go grab the person, right? Because this person could create the account anonymously. Um, so anyway, uh, that's where we sit, guys. Just be careful, uh, be watchful, and, um, you know, it should it hopefully keep you safe uh, or as safe as possible anyway. All right. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about, and I, I have really kind of uh, one of the reasons why I don't really get on here and talk about XRP crypto and all that because all the stuff that's going on um, it, it really troubles me to be honest there's it, it seems to me that people are more so worried about XRP and crypto and all this stuff that you're forgetting you can have all the money in the world but if you don't have any freedom to do anything with it, or if there are no stores, because guys, 60% of the restaurants that closed down are now going to close permanently. Okay. Now I can also tell you this. I've, I've, I've listened to a lot of different sources for news and, and just information. Guys, it's very unlikely we're going to get out of this whole lockdown situation. Things are not going back to the way they were pre-COVID, all right? It just is not going there. And you have a lot of people who are so blind and so dumbed down that they love this. They love being told to wear a freaking mask all day. And they, they love being told that they can't do what they, they, I mean, it's like they've wanted this the whole, this whole time, their whole lives. Okay, I see this video of this woman spraying a man, and he, she was going to spray his wife first, with mace. They're in a park. She's nowhere near them. She goes out of her way to go spray these people with mace, even though they have kids. Another situation, uh, uh, someone comes up and tells the, the, the uh, parents of these kids, because they're not wearing masks, she hopes they die. I mean... What else but mind altered idiots? And, and it just, it, it, man, it just throws me completely for a loop. I mean, it, it makes no sense at all. How is this happening? Well, the only way this could be happening is if people have been poisoned, have been physically dumbed down through food through other means, water and everything else. And then on top of that, spending all of their or most of their uh, uh, free time watching the news, listening to people that tell you things and who don't have your best interest in mind. Now, for a while there, I was thinking that Trump might have been on our side, but you know, honestly, it was, it was really kind of a pipe dream because anyone who is in any position as, as far as politically, guys, they are bought and paid for before they even get there. Okay? Every one of these people, they are just puppets. Whether it's Fauci or Bill Gates or whomever, these are just puppets. The real power is behind the scenes. You don't know who they are. They never reveal themselves. Okay? Now, I know a lot of folks have had major issue with me mentioning biblical or you know anything biblical or God or anything like that. But I'm gonna tell you this, I don't care what you think. If you don't wanna if you don't believe in God and you don't believe that the Bible has truth in it, you can go go your way. You don't have to be here. I don't want to see your message saying, well, you had me till you, 
mention God. I don't give a damn. Go somewhere. Okay? This is my channel. This is my belief. You have the you have your right to your belief, so take your ass on somewhere else. Okay? Now, with that being said, everything that we're seeing right now and what we're leading into, it's already talked about from a book that was written thousands of years ago. Okay? Now, does it get down to the minutia of every detail that's happening? Absolutely not. But in general, you see what's happening. And there's other information that I don't talk about on this channel that's happening right now. And it's also talked about. There are things, guys, I'm going to tell you. There are things that are going to happen that's, number one, going to scare the hell out of you. And going to blow your minds. Believe me. The United States. Is on borrowed time. Okay. It's up. The time is up. For this country. Every. It, it could have lasted a little longer. If people had actually woken up. And tried to do anything about it. Instead of. Sitting back. And trusting in these so called leaders. But no. You want to believe that these evil people who have been and, and you've seen the the information out there. You've seen that these people worship Satan. You've seen that these people are pedophiles. OK, I mean, come on. It's right there in front of your face. But no, you sit back. You don't do anything about it. You don't even speak up. As long as no one messes with you and your family and, and your little corner of the of the world, you're you're absolutely fine. But it doesn't work like that. Because guess what just happened? If you didn't notice, the whole world was shut down. Not just the US. And guess what? Nearly the whole world is still shut down. And and even to that. You will soon be presented with mandatory vaccines. Okay? Before you can get your driver's license renewed, before you can get a house, before you can get a bank account. Guys, before you can use your crypto, that's why everything's going digital, so it can be tracked, so it can be cut off if you don't do what you're told. Okay? So unless you're willing to go get your shots and also... Go get your smart tattoo, okay, that tells them that you got your shots, that you have gotten your shots like a good little goyim or good little cow, good little doggy. Until you actually do that, you get no play, okay? So be ready for it. It's coming for you. And if you go ahead and... It, this this goes right back to what I was just talking about. Biblically, it this is it. The mark that the Bible talks about in Revelation 13, it even tells you when you look up the definition of what it says in, in Mark. I don't, I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm already at 13 minutes, but the actual definition, it says an etching in the skin. It's not a freaking RFID chip being stuck in your, your arm or hand or wherever the hell. It's a tattoo and etching in the skin. Isn't that what a tattoo is? Here we are. Are you ready for it? That's the question. Do you love your things so much that you're willing to give up your soul for it? Are you, are you afraid to die? Because I, I don't know if you already know this, but uh, that's going to happen anyway. Uh, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's, you know, that's kind of what it comes down to. It's going to happen. It's coming for you. So maybe it's time to start looking at things a little bit differently. Maybe it's time to be more concerned 
about what you're going to do regarding this. Because, yes, XRP is going to take off. But are you going to be able to enjoy it? Why are you more worried about that than the things that are being planned for you? See, my whole point is, unless we wake up and do something about this, this is the future. And if you're okay with this future, hey, that's a whole different thing. I'm not okay with it. I'm not going to accept it. I don't care about all of these things here because I know already what they're going to do anyway. Even if you do bow down, it doesn't stop there. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Okay? So just remember that. That's all I have for you guys, and I know a lot of folks ain't going to like this, but I don't give a damn. I really don't. Do your own research. Make sure that you understand what you think you need to understand. All I can do is say what's on my mind and share, share with you what I know. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Corner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless. Thank you.